Hello. Hi. Hey, uh, can you please kindly introduce yourself and how long have you been working in the photography industry? Right, okay. So, hi, I'm Douglas and I'm a freelance photographer. So, I've been doing this professionally for a year plus already. What is your expertise in photography? Mm, right now, I'm currently doing a lot of events and of this. I also shoot quite a few portrait shoots. What software are you using for photo editing? Right, mainly I edit my photos, all my photos in Lightroom. But if there are some things which cannot be done in Lightroom, like like fixing on the face, removing all the blemishes, I will usually switch switch to Photoshop. Is the text required to convey the message of the photo better? Well, it may or might not convey. Uh, but I would prefer my photos to tell the stories instead. Does the camera model and less affect the quality outcome of the photos? No, there are different styles that could come from using different cameras and lens, depending on which suits your liking. Uh, you can even shoot on mobile and on mobile camera and the pictures can also come out very nice. What are the factors that help to sustain your passion for photography? I would say watch a lot of YouTubers and follow a lot of Instagram accounts who does photography as well. You might come across a photo which you really like and that photo may motivate you to go out and shoot a similar photo or even a better photo. Okay, uh, to what you say, any YouTube channel or Instagrammer you are suggesting? I watch a lot of Peter McKinnon's videos. His videos are quite uh, educational. He sometimes teaches us on how to take uh, good photos. So I take a lot of different pointers from him. Instagram wise, I follow a lot of them, but the one I really like uh, is this Singapore based wedding photographer, uh, Instagram holder would be Bright Look Productions. So their photos, those photos are the kind of styles I would like to achieve. Could you share the most challenging which you had worked upon and how you managed to overcome it? Uh, I would say taking birthday events would be the most challenging one. Usually these birthdays are for one-year-old kids, so not only you have to take good moments of them, but also you must learn how to interact with the kids so that they will be comfortable in front of the lens, they will, com they will be comfortable with you, then from then on you can capture the kids laughing and smiling. So the best way is to always practice, practice and learn how to communicate with the kids. Amongst the accumulated work, which is the one that you are the most proud of? Can you explain why? Uh, I think the most proudest work I've done would be shooting these foreign couples uh, at Gardens by the Bay. Usually when I shoot couples, I will ask them to play a fool with each other. Then from there, you can capture the rawest moments of them laughing and smiling, which will make the photos look very good. Uh, so these couple were really good at bringing out their emotions. Uh, and I really love the photos. How would you define a good photography portfolio? Mm, it really depends on your style of photography. How you want to incom incorporate that in your portfolio. As long as there is consistency and following the design rules, I think it really wouldn't go wrong. Do you have any advice for fresh graduates who are keen to step into the photography industry? Right, for those of you going into this, this industry, right, I would say take a lot, a lot of photos, find your unique style, practice on that, brush up on your style, and also learn communication skills so you can communicate with your clients. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you, Douglas, for your time doing this interview and have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.